Basically, your chords are you got to take the little diagram, and this, and this is how you make it. Uh, first two strings is going to be your third and your second fret on the first and second string, and the bottom string on the third fret. And you press the jig, okay? Or you play a full jig. And your, other, your only other two chords in it is going to be a A minor, okay? And that's just like your E over here, you just move them all down one. But basically, it's um, from the um, Third string from the top is your sec is second fret. Fourth string from the top is the second fret, and the fifth string next to the last is your first. And then you play from the second string down. Okay. So you got your G with all strings, second string down, and your only other note. Your C, if you play it on um, second string, is the uh, third fret. The third string down is the second fret, and then you leave your your fourth string open. And then your fifth string, second from the bottom, is your first fret. Okay? Now, if you see me play like this, because uh, I'm playing the whole thing, but you play from the second string down, unless you do it like I do and you include this string on the third fret on the first one, then you can play the whole thing. Okay? Um, it's kind of like that little G thing where you can play like this and more like this, you know. But anyhow, so we got those three chords, and basically, and the pattern goes um, G, A minor, and C. And then, and then it's G again, but the G gets a double count because it's G, A minor, C, G. And then it's G, A minor, C, G. Because that G's there twice, so it gets a double count. So it's like... If you watched one or right before this one or one before that or something or somewhere, a lot of times I, I tell you not to count, to change on the words. But the only reason I'm counting this one out is because it's so easy and repetitive. Uh, I just don't like to tell you to count stuff out when you've got a bunch of changes in a chorus and a verse and this and that. And you got to remember three, two, four, six, and all that stuff. But this one is is basically four every time, except on the G, you 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 count it on. Um, twice, you know, kind of like can't you see, if you get to that D, you know, that D, C, G, D, and then D, C, G, D, and then D, it repeats, so on this one it's G, A minor, C, G, G, A minor, C, G, okay, so it's like...
this this song right here is for the beginner learning his first song and you're going to play this song uh, if you already know your G A minor and your your C um, if you already know those you already know this song because it goes in that order and it never changes only thing is is the G gets a double count but it only gets a double count when you come back to it. When you first start, it gets one count, A minor gets one count, C gets one count, then G gets one count. But then you start on the G, so you count it again. It's like, in other words, like you get a G, A minor, C, and G. But then you start over, G, A minor, C, G. That's why the G gets twice. So, but anyhow, here's the count on it. It's gonna be like a one, two, Sing it, don't fall apart.